Okay, guys. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Laravel project in your uh, server. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy it on uh, a shared hosting ac account. So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to do everything from scratch and uh, and let's get started. Okay. I'm going to make uh, a Laravel uh, project, a new project. Okay, and let's uh, Laravel new and the name of my project. For the meanwhile, while this is downloading and preparing my uh, my application, we will need we will need to set up. Some a few things on my on our uh, provider. Well, first of all, you need to go to your PHP versions. I've got uh, go that as you can see. You need to check the latest version of your PHP. Here I have this, and let's before we know we set it, you need to check the PDO that it is okay. Select set is current yes let's switch to php options see if something is uh, okay post uh, the memory everything is okay set is current okay now let's go to our file manager i'm going to put this in my public html folder as you can see now access denied is forbidden and let's see if that's finished uh, okay that's finished let's go to my project where is it where is it here i'm going to Add this into a zip folder, add it to archive, zip, and this, okay, let's just pop this here, this out. and I'm going to my file manager, I'm going to upload, choose the, the zip file, Okay, it's gonna upload it. Just a few more seconds, about 30 seconds. Okay. Everything is set. And that's it. We have it here. Let's go and extract it. I'm going to check to my public HTML folder, my main site. And we're going to need to configure some, uh, some files. Let's go into here. And this will write your domain name. Go.net. So, this and in the storage make sure your permissions are correct that it is uh, writable and let's go to our public folder and copy everything and move it to the public HTML in move and up on level go to your index.php uh, file and edit it because i'm using my my public html which is the main directory i don't need this and save it and right now as you can see voila laravel project is deployed on your server 
Well, I hope that uh, it was good for you and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.